scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. There is a strong relationship between sickness and death. Now please, if you are here and you came with a sick person, you can stand in for them by faith or if you are following from a hospital there are several hospitals that connect to the miracle services they have their patients trusting god and we've heard marvelous testimonies of miracles whether it is high blood pressure whether it is hepatitis hiv whatever it is just lay your hands i want to pray for you right now i have experienced the healing power of jesus in my own life so i know that he heals I know that he, he heals. Just lay your hands there. No one, Jesus, there is no one. Darling, there is no one. Jesus, there is no one else like you. No one. Jesus, there is no one, darling, there is no one. Jesus, there is no one else like you. For you are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. There is a man you are not in here. But you are suffering from prostrate it's been diagnosed already in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the power of God is coming upon you right now the power of God is coming upon you right now the Lord is showing me a woman your left breast there are multiple lumps there verified you've gone to the hospital in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God I bring you life right now now I rebuke every spirit. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down. And every time I see this, this prophetically signifies blood pressure. Whether high blood pressure, low blood pressure. In the name of Jesus, I am praying right now for every and anyone who is here suffering from high blood pressure, low blood pressure. In Jesus name, be healed now. God is healing someone with the issue of blood. This is a terrible thing. Sometimes you almost feel dizzy, almost like you collapse. In the name of Jesus, I declare, please help them. Let there be healing for you now. Let there be healing for you now. Every blood condition, blood condition, HIV, hepatitis, in the name of Jesus, I speak over your life. Be healed now. You can bring the request. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
shout a loud amen. amen i'm seeing someone around i don't know if it's your armpit area or the side you have a growth something that looks like a boil that has come out is so discomforting and is painful in the name of jesus i am praying for you may the power of god rest upon you rest upon you rest upon you in the name of jesus christ eye conditions you're already having cataract glaucoma in the name of jesus or any kind of eye condition you're already seeing things that are not there because of severe, severe pains, water coming out of your eyes, I decree and declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. There's someone you have from your lumbar vertebra down and then another person you have severe pain just around your back here. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where that person is. Who is that? What's that you are lifting? A corset? Are you the one holding it? Do you believe in miracles? Lift it and come. You are healed. Come. <laughs> Lift it up. Is it for you? How long? 20 13. What couldn't you do? I, I couldn't bend. Look I, at me. You, brought, you came here with this. Yes, sir. All the way from Joss. All the way from Joss. Yes, sir. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, bend. Jesus. Check yourself. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at. He's checking himself. This woman too who is this back pain, back pain. Yes. for how long ma for more than 11 years more than 11 years yes even last last month i received injection 242 in this hospital 242 yes and i'm still receiving see yeah for back L, madam L4, L5. And then down to my leg, yeah, knee. Was, um, now, we didn't plan to take testimonies, but you see, God, God knows that some people need this for their faith. Huh? Madam, 200 and... 243, just until I lost count. Because every day they will give me four, here. Yeah? Then my two hands, they can still see the sign of the intravenous injection. My dear, my leg. That's a, a, it's, it's all right, madam. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. My dear... Usher, place your hand on her back. Father, this is a miracle service. In the name of Jesus, 242 injections. This is, this is demonic. This is not a medical condition. Father, let Jesus be glorified tonight. I decree and declare, be healed now. Madam, look at me. Bend over slowly. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Stand up. Bend again. Bend again. Any pain? Bend again. Look at what is happening to her. Your legs. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Look at me. Lift your leg. No, no, no. Watch what I'm doing. Watch what I'm doing. Do it. Take it easy. Watch what I'm doing. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing to this woman? Now walk, madam. Walk. Try to walk. Just twist while you are walking. Any pain? Look at what is happening to her. My goodness. What is happening to you, madam? Look at. Ah, look at this. Look at this. I'm still seeing, God bless you, madam. I'm still seeing somebody, please forgive me, but this, there is an anointing for bone conditions to heal people. 
there are some of you who came with crutches whether outside or where please I want you to I have my conscience my heart I will not be able to sleep knowing that the power of God for this miracle has come whether I know somebody was healed outside I know there are a number of people lift it now and walk lift it now and walk while we pray in the name of Jesus take it easy we're not we're not stage managing or faking anything here this is the power of God walking through people walking through people please when you find a miracle let us know and then if we can have one or two of them but let me finish the prayer um there's someone it looks like something is stuck around your truth in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you right now by the power of the holy spirit in fact the lord is showing me someone there is a swelling like this is a thyroid you know this um this thing that swells the throat in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is but the power of God is coming upon that person right now don't tell lies make sure you really have such a situation who is the person we're praying right now oh I can see it Look at all the wonderful destinies that the devil wants to trap with this demonic thing. Your own is an attack, eh? Lady number two. I curse that spirit. Out! Now! In the name of Jesus. Father, for your name and for your glory, this demonic thing, I don't care what it is and where it came from, but in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be healed now. Amen. Be healed now. Amen. That the, the spirit behind it is cursed right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. there will be complete healing. Complete healing for you in Jesus' name. I'm still praying for the sick. I remember calling out Samuel a baby before we spoke about the children. I didn't get to pray. Is there a baby called Samuel? Maybe I'll just pray. We may not have time for all of them to come out. But there is, the Lord is asking me to rebuke an attack over a Samuel who is a baby. Some of my dear people, leaders here have their children called Samuel. And any other person here connected in the name of Jesus. There's a miracle that has happened there. Look at this. Let's celebrate Jesus. Are you seeing what the Lord is doing? The lady is even surprised herself. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. You are the covenant keeping God. You are Yahweh. My dear, you came with this. Yes, I did. What happened to you? Well, you were praying, so I No, what happened before now? I woke up one morning and all of a sudden I couldn't look up. If I look up, my neck will hurt so badly. If I look down, my neck will hurt so badly. I was having back pain. I was having neck pain here. I went to the hospital and they recommended this and I've been wearing it since then. How long? For like about a week or two now. Oh, okay. It's just something that happened recently. Yes. Place your hand on your neck. In the name of Jesus, we do not trivialize this miracle. This is the Lord's doing. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. Any pain? Any pain? Any pain? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you even by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ perfection for you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know but again the Spirit of God is taking me outside there's someone I don't know what miracle has happened to you outside that's not the overflows now outside in the name of Jesus Christ I, I, I don't know what miracle that is but 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead I think this is something that has to do with your legs from what I'm seeing in Jesus name I am praying for you let life let strength let vitality rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone you have been suffering severely from breathing problems you don't have asthma yet it acts as though it's asthma you know severe breathing problems breathing problems I'm praying for the sick is there someone like that the Lord wants to set you free right now how long has this been Help a gentleman and a lady who will shout under the anointing now. One day I will take the time to explain to you why these things happen so that you can understand because sometimes when we don't have an understanding it just looks like these are just some what's that please they should take it easy listen let me teach you something in administering miracles don't just get excited to show that the man of God is anointed or the power of God is in the place that you punish and frustrate the people who are remember everything we do is by love so even when the people believe and if they start moving you guide them as they are releasing their faith and the miracle now manifests that is when you can bring them up to testify don't don't try to embarrass them and put them you know under pressure either because you've lifted their wheelchairs or you've lifted their crutches we are not pretending this when a miracle happens a miracle has happened it's as simple as that are we together now breathing problems please help them three of you the power of God is coming on you now is the spirit of death after that I can pray for the rest this one is the spirit of death it's just the instruction God is giving me three of you there is an anointing that is coming that one is, is the manifestation of the spirit of death you must let them go Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Now I pray for you. Every wicked oppression affecting you, affecting your breathing, whether in the night or in the day, connected to any medical condition, be healed now. I use this once as a point of contact to pray for everyone. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Lay your hands on your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. This is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, it has been there for a long time, but now you must go. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, in Jesus' name, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I decree and declare outside all the overflows, inside, following online, every situation that you've had. There's someone God is visiting you. You may not come out. You have a baby that is not growing. I don't know what the medical condition is but your baby is not growing and this is a very demonic thing right now in the name of Jesus wherever that parent or that baby is I stretch my hands and I declare life and healing now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus one lady is going to shout under the anointing all I will tell you is that a miracle is happening to your womb that's what is happening to you I don't know who that person is 
but the Holy Spirit just ministered the power of God is coming on you a miracle is happening your womb your womb it is something that medically cannot be corrected but the Lord is visiting you now it is something that medically cannot be corrected but the power of God is resting upon you now my God look how many people outside those outside lift your hands I have to pray for you the camera has shown me those outside I'm praying for everyone but I want to speak over those outside those outside whether you are by the roadside whether wherever it is I want you to stand I want to pray for you we pray and trust that God will grant us grace soon to have our own facility in Jesus name are you in agreement with me you can see that those who are within the main auditorium are a very minute fraction there are so many people all the overflows following online thousands of people outside those outside we are agreeing with you in the name of Jesus Christ everything that represents shame and reproach by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare let it be broken from off your life now let it be broken from off your life now now those outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus as loud as you can the power of god is going to come on some of you and that will be my ministration for you and then we'll just pray and do the altar call and wrap up those outside father in the name of jesus even as you have put it in my heart for all the thousands of people outside who have stood in faith in the name of jesus trusting you to visit them i decree and declare lord by that shout let there be an avalanche of your glory your deliverance your power upon every one of them are you ready now those outside just the people outside one two three shout jesus i decree and declare everything that is not of god let it give way right now i release you into the prophetic blessing of the lord i decree it by the power of the holy spirit supernatural miracles over your life in the name of jesus supernatural miracles over your life in the name of jesus christ be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name stretch your hands over the request i know you prayed for them but please stretch your hands stretch your hands over the requests stretch your hands over the requests thank you thank you father in the name of jesus christ i bow my knees even over these requests there are people trusting god for financial miracles there are people trusting god for change of stories trusting God for the salvation of their loved ones Lord they have brought this as an act of faith I stand by the privilege of priesthood and I declare over this request may they be answered by fire may they be answered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ every human agent who must walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make for answers to this request i compel their ministry over your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare that even from tonight let there be a harvest of supernatural results a harvest of supernatural answers a harvest of supernatural testimonies because you believe i declare that you receive it in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and as I would always pray these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your hands and receive this prophetic blessing every door that has been closed over your life and destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead may that door be open now 
may that door be open now number two every human vessel who has proposed to help you but for some reason they've not been able to attend to you this week coming in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy that you receive their help in the name of Jesus Christ number three everyone trusting God for a job here you've heard the testimonies I declare yet again may my God surprise you every business here by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare that the Lord God of heaven will cause you to excel in the name of Jesus Christ I pray I know that from an economic standpoint it looks like times are very difficult but I want to declare even as you have prayed may the grace for exemption in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you please hear me no one here under the sound of my voice will become a victim of any kidnapping as you go by road as you go by sea as you go by air you are supernaturally protected in the name of Jesus and every orchestration of darkness against anyone here you are delivered now those seeking God for promotion I declare let it be yours those seeking God for restoration in families let there be that grace upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray as always for your spiritual life this is the highest and the noblest index to measure your success I decree and declare fire like never before upon your prayer life fire like never before upon your word life in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me if you came here facing any circle of disappointment any circle of disappointment I'm declaring to you this night it comes to a permanent end anything that has left you that should not have left by the power of the prophetic we call it back to your life hear me some of you it's not like you are doing bad but sincerely you've not done anything extraordinary for a long time is you can't say you are not doing maybe you are doing poorly but you can't also say you are excelling the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter may that ever brighter grace rest on you that ever brighter grace rest on you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah oh I'm, I'm, I just I didn't even notice I'm just spotting Choma Jesus hallelujah now God bless you my worship team people make sure after Choma Jesus please let me plead after the grace you people will wait she will pray and bless you this woman you see this is this is 50 years am I right on that yes 50 serving the purposes of God what a lovely woman early uh, I think I don't know what month it was I was with her in Oweri it was such a beautiful beautiful meeting so my dear people there is grace for you to receive after the grace hallelujah praise the name of the Lord you have celebrated me you have honored me you have seen what God has done in and through my life I want to pray a prayer for no you don't have to kneel or did but please this thing called grace for visibility is not you can't manipulate it it's not about social media if the grace is not on you if you like beg people to see you they will say we are busy I decree and declare whatever has hidden you so that your glory will not be seen by the power that raised Christ from the dead in this season find supernatural visibility from America 
to Europe, to Asia, to Africa, even in Nigeria. Visibility for your ministry, visibility for your family, visibility for your business, visibility for your products, visibility for your business outfit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone here who has the call of God upon his life, I declare by reason of your encounter here, you will not fail. Help them. You will not fail. Men, women, pastors, apostles, prophets, evangelists, missionaries, receive the engracing for a new season. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your finances. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, you shall not beg. You shall not beg. Step into the overflow. By the anointing of the Spirit, you will soak the breast of kings. And in their glory, you will boast yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will multiply you. You will not be small. He will glorify you. You will not be few. In the name of Jesus Christ. The last prayer point because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I want to pray for you honor is a grace you've heard me say you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon another I pray for you by the privilege of this that we have received in the name of Jesus we have received it from God we have received it through the fathers we have received it through them that sell in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may this mantle rest upon you anywhere you have been despised may that grace bail you out in the name of Jesus Christ Wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the glory. Wave your hands to Jesus from left to right and tell him thank you. Lord, we thank you for tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to make the altar call and then we're done. There are people here, thank you, you've been standing for long. Thank you for your patience. You may sit for a minute or two. There are people here who need to hand over their lives to Jesus. Please, let's minimize movement so that you allow those who are coming to come. There are people who are saying, Apostle, I have seen the power of God. I've seen the hand of God, but I sincerely need Jesus in my life, even right now. I know that you may see people moving up and down. But please, I'd like you to focus. This call is for your destiny. Two in one. There are those who are saying, I need to make this decision afresh. And there are those who are saying, I need to rededicate my life to Jesus. You belong to any of these categories. We have one minute for you. Very boldly and without shame, with gallancy, leave your seat and come as we appreciate you. Let's honor them as they come. Let's honor them as they come. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? from the main auditorium the balcony all the overflows outside following online come to jesus let's celebrate them as they come i'm counting one to five and then we pray one two if you're coming please run please clear the way for them so that they make it apostle i want to come but i'm not sure if i'm saved i'm not exactly bad but i'm not saved come god bless you join them very quickly so that you can have what the bible calls or what we call the assurance of salvation four young and old please come come to jesus he's able to give you a new beginning and finally five you're coming please rush apostle i'm still thinking about it do i come i want to come but i'm ashamed of my friends i'm ashamed of those who i came with please leave them and come this is a very personal decision Amen. Thank you. Please 
may I request, thank you for coming. May I request that you lift your hands high above your head as a sign of surrender. All the overflows, those who have come out, please, the same. And then following online, maybe in your home, anywhere, I'd like you to just lift your hands. Say after me very loud and clear, say, Lord Jesus. One more time, please say it. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died and rose again for my justification. Right now, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I make Jesus Savior of my soul. And I declare that Jesus is my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God. I'm born again in Jesus' name. Keep your hands lifted. Thank you, Father, for these ones. You have brought them even by your spirit. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. In the name of Jesus, based on your declaration, I declare your sins forgiven. And I declare that it is a new beginning for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that the life of God would find visible expression in your life. I commend you to the word of his grace. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded in righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Let me pray for this gentleman. I rebuke that spirit. You heard his confession. Let him go now. In the name of Jesus, release him by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you very much for this decision. May I please request that you follow the counselors to my right, which is your left. Let's honor them as they go. Celebrate them. Thank you very, very, very much. Hallelujah. Please keep clapping until they go. God bless you. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.